Okay, y'all, what's up with it? What's happening? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to go ahead and dive right into this. Right into this. At first, I didn't know where to start. So much shit going on. So much shit going on. But I'm going to start with the MGK the slash g Easy slash Eminem beef. That's what's going on right now. And I'm firstly going to start with by uh, saying uh, I am a fan of the culture. I am a fan of the culture first hands. So before any of this shit right here, man, I respect and love the culture itself. That means I'm not going to take sides. I'm not going to be biased on what's going on or feel any kind of way with anybody on how they feel about the outcome or what's going on right now. First off, I will say, toast to that good ass diss song by MGK. You can't, if you're a fan of rap and you know hip hop, you know that was a good ass diss song and you know that MGK delivered on every fucking bar. Whether it was true or not, cuz was going on. And there's where you get the culture vultures who don't know shit about the culture. They want to get on there and say the shit was trash. Well, motherfucker, won't you come with something nice? Let me hear what you got. Let me, tell me who's your favorite rapper. Let me hear your favorite rapper, this song or his best song. Let me hear it. So apparently, I don't know where this beef come from, how it started and where it's going. I know I'm a fan of this shit because I love it when this rap beef going on and no one's get hurt. Drake and Pusha T, Meek Mill, Drake, it goes on and on. It's a sport. It's competition. But whatever the beef is behind with, uh, I'm not going to call it beef. Whatever the dissing going on around uh, Eminem and uh, MGK, uh, it's something steered it up. And I'm pretty sure I have an idea, but I'm not going to speak on it because if I don't have, it's not, if it's not facts to me, if it's not in black and white or from the horse's mouth, I don't speak about it. So, first of all, like I said, there was a good ass diss song by M uh, MGK. But you have, these, you have these fans, these stands of Eminem getting mad saying, oh, he's going to get, he's going to get buried. Eminem about to bury him. Well, it's been what, almost a week now, and he hasn't replied yet. People throwing up the diss song that Eminem threw out there first as a response. That's not the response, man. When Eminem replied back, it's going to go hard, trust me. So now you're getting everybody caught up in this uh, in this diss, and I'm not going to call it beef, because just, they just talking shit about each other. It's not, it's not a beef. Biggie told me what a beef was. Beef is when your mom's not safe up in the streets. Beef is when I see you, definitely to be an I see you, and that's beef. So it ain't beef. Look, there's some chatty patty shit going on, and they're just trying to outdo each other with words. It's not going to be a fight. It's not going to be a shootout. It's just going to be a war of words, a war of words. So, like I said, first and foremost, that was a good-ass diss track. I'm waiting to see him reply. Uh, they say g Easy replied. I haven't heard it yet. Evidently, it's not stirring up the fucking wave in the timeline like MGK shit is. A lot of you motherfuckers never heard MGK rap until the other day. But you have the nerve to speak over this dude's talent. Like you heard every song. Like you heard every album. There's a reason why P. Diddy, Puff Daddy signed him. There's a reason. He was signed with Puff Daddy seven, eight years ago. He was on the freshman cover magazine, Double XL. That's how long I've known about him. You don't hear me, though. So, then you got all these, mostly females. Most of the females feel butthurt about this guy going at Eminem. And I'm not going to go tick for tat with these females, man, because most, most, nine times out of ten, they don't know the fuck they talking about. Stick to the fucking reality shows, motherfuckers. All this bullshit going on this week. Yeah. The reason why I'm doing a video because I, I want, I'd rather talk about it on my podcast 
but I don't have enough room to talk about it in my podcast when I have guests and shit just go other ways with my podcast. And then once I load the podcast up, it's going to be irrelevant. Once I load that episode up. So I'm going to give it to you live and directly. It's not live because most of y'all don't even tune into my live and are subscribed to me because you're at work. You at work. But like I was saying, there's a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit going on. And that's one of them. That's the talk that's been on my timeline, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And the thing about it, you got people from different cultures and backgrounds and genres into this mix, man, of this shit. That's even more entertainment. I didn't even know most of y'all motherfuckers listen to rap music. Better yet, didn't even know y'all knew MGK was. Ain't that some bullshit? All this bullshit going on. You have McCain and Aretha passed away in the last two weeks. And condolences to their family and all that. And friends with all that. That ran the, the wave last week. And and they say, you know, boom. They did now. Their situation's over. They popped back over the MGK shit. That shit right there is getting exposed more than... The guy around the corner getting popped in the head by some guys. Nobody's worried about that. But the MGK did song towards Eminem and G Easy, which I ain't even I didn't even hear him go at G Easy. I mean, I'm, I'm lost if something I'm lost. Got that going on. And until Eminem replies back, that's a live ass diss song, man. That's a diss track. It's just me. It's coming from a rapper a rapper's perspective. To me, that song was live until Eminem respond and not make it live. So, there you have it on that part. Here's the other bullshit. Kaepernick signs a fucking deal with Nike. Now, it's going to touch a few of y'all. Uh, and before I even go off and go do that, do direction I'm fixing to go with this. One thing you cannot say about me, especially the people that know me, that I have hate toward anybody, no matter what color they are. I dislike all kind of people. People from people my color, people from my era, people that from my uh, neighborhood or whatever. There's just things about them that I just that rub me the wrong way. Don't mean I hate them, I just don't fool with them. So I noticed people are cutting the Nike thing off their socks now. Cutting up their Nike clothes and all that because Kaepernick got a fucking deal. See, this right here is like by Kaepernick now. It's more, it's more like, this is the race card. You motherfuckers are really just showing that you're, uh, you're showing your racism now. You're starting to show your racist side about yourself now because how the hell are you going to get mad at Ka uh, Nike and don't buy Nike no more cut up your Nike clothes? Because Cap signed a deal, but your ass still go to Subway and the motherfucker Jerry do child molester. You don't hear me though. How in the fuck you gonna cut your Nike shit up, but you still go get your fucking five dollar foot loan from Subway after Jared? Molested the kid. I don't like that shit. Mm -mm. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. But yeah, how the fuck you gonna do that, man? People are actually showing they, they, they racist side now because there's a lot of situations that took place. And speaking of subway, the Philly incident in Subway. You didn't feel like it was bad for that. Still, you still take your ass to Subway. On that note, on the Subway note, you still go to Subway. On that note, and that shit's recent. That shit happened two, three months ago. As soon as talk, as soon as uh, Kaepernick gets a fucking deal with Nike, you want to, you want to act that way. And, and, and this is why, this is what I tell people, no matter who they are. 
You want to know how somebody really feel? Piss them off. If it can be slap in the face or a punch, punch them in the face. If they get mad, they're gonna release some anger. They're gonna say some shit or do some shit that they've been wanting to say and do. They just didn't have the fucking uh, uh, motivation to do it because they pussies. You know how you, you, you get into it with your girlfriend or whoever you, you're dealing with and all of a sudden y'all get in an argument and she'll say something to you that you'll be like, or you'll say something to her that you'll think about it like, oh, I'm glad I said that shit because I've been wanting to say that shit. Or you like, she says some shit to you and you'll be like, okay, that bitch really feel that way. And at the same time, people are always like, oh, I was just mad. That's why I said that. No, you said that because that's how you really feel. That's how you really, that's what your feelings really are. So I can't take that away from you. Let me get back on track, though. So you got all this shit with Kaepernick and all that going on. So what y'all going to do with Kaepernick? What if Whole Food Groceries or Target or Walmart or somebody like that? How about this? BMW and Mercedes gives Kaepernick a fucking deal. What are you going to do then? Toyota? Infinity? Y'all drive all those cars. Better yet, GMC. Don't, and I ain't going to say Ford. That, that's a peck of wood. That's, that's redneck ass shit right there anyway. Just think about it. I don't understand it. And then, you, and then the, hold up. And then the people, though, the audience, they think, man, these motherfuckers, man, I got, I, people be on some sucker shit so hard, man. Before anybody, that t before anybody, anyone would tell you good morning, anything, say, hey, like on your shit, they would steal a post from you and whoever else before they even say good morning to you. They'll lurk on your fucking Facebook page. I'm, 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 I'm one of the people who be stealing shit off social media now. Stealing memes and stealing posts. You ain't creative. You need non-creative ass motherfuckers. You will see somebody post some shit and you won't even like on their shit or speak to them. But you will share their shit. And, and, and like, bitch, if you... If you if you did, you did use all that energy to uh to click on my shit to share it to your page, bitch. You come, but at least like like on my shit, then share it. You don't gotta speak to me, but most of y'all motherfuckers not doing that either. You just stealing shit early in the fucking morning. That's why I tell people. I see. I wish Facebook could make it where you can't comment unless you had at least this video. Make these motherfucking comments turn to videos. If you ain't, it'll be a lot of bitches gonna come in until 8 o'clock in the evening. They not gonna make no morning posts. They not gonna wake up in the morning and talk to you on Facebook because they, they didn't wake up like that. They didn't wake up like that, man. Subscribe to my channel too, man. Share and like on that shit. Comment at the bottom. You know, I'm really a podcast host, man. A cut a case of the kickback podcast show, man. But I just felt like I had to uh, uh, let, let this energy out because my podcast, I do it every Thursday. I'm not fixing to use that platform, you know, uh, to discuss that. Through. I mean, I have a guest on the show this week. We might bring that shit up because I was talking to my guest. Shout out to Jet Lad. Jet lag said he's willing to talk about anything that's going on in the world. And I'm like, that's cool. But we don't want the audience to get too buck buckish where they uh take it away from what we're trying to give. So that's what that is. Tune into my kickback podcast show, man. Cut a case the kickback podcast. Y'all tune in that shit. But back to the back to the people who stealing on Facebook, stealing posts. People they ain't seen you in years, man. They know you. You ain't hung out with these people. Y'all done smoked, drank, did all kind of shit with each other. But they can't even speak and say hello to you or good morning, but they'll be on your page. And next thing you know, oh, such and such shared your shit. 
I ain't talked to Southern Touch in damn near 10 years, but they on my fucking page and they can share my shit, but can't say nothing to me. That's some foul ass shit. I won't do that shit. That's unheard of. If I see somebody that ain't seen in 10 years, man, or however the case, however long he's been, my first instinct is to go straight to the messenger. What's up? How you doing? Been a long time. Glad to see you still around somewhere. Hit me up sometime. I expect the same kind of energy, though. That's just me, man. I don't get it, man. It's what, it's, I think that's fake love, real hate type of shit coming in there. People, they love you from a distance. Or they look at you from a distance. It's like they out of sight, out of mind. But like you can, you can tell people who hang out with each other a lot because they like on everybody's posts. Everything, like you can tell them, or they reach they hanging out. Or they, they, she's liking on his post, or he's liking on her post because he either like her or she like him, or they hanging out. Or they, or them two girls hanging out, or them two guys hanging out. There are people who you've been knowing all your life, man, who see you on Facebook every day, won't say shit to you. They just keep strolling. I be damn, I see somebody, man, who ain't. But, hey, man, what's up with your girl? What's up with your dude? That's how I am, man. But everybody talking about they 1,000 or 100. You know, everybody think they that. You know, they they honorable, you know what I'm saying? You never honor up to the person that you've been fucking with all your life. I see people all the time. I haven't seen them in 10 years, and all of a sudden I see them. It don't matter to be 10 years. It can be five years. It can be three years. I haven't seen him in a while, and like they'll see me somewhere. Hey, how you doing? I see you got the podcast thing going on right now, and all that other bullshit like that. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I got the podcast thing going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, you, you must have been checking it out for you to know I have that going on. That means you've been linked to me some kind of way through Instagram or YouTube or whatever the case may be. You linked in with me now. So, you been knowing I've been doing this podcast shit. Why you just want to holler? Why you hit me up? Why you just say, what's up with your girl? I mean, what's up with your dude? That be killing me right there, man. A lot of shit be going on, man. All that bullshit, that fuckery, man. Shout out to the 49ers, man. Week one this week, by the way, man. We got the Vikings this week, by the way, man. Niners game, Niners game, Niners game. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Jimmy G up in this. Yeah, a lot of shit going on, man. I just had to get this shit off my chest, man, because, you know, you only can say so much on Facebook, and, you, and people only can take it so take it. You don't want to get into a, a typing argument. So I said, fuck it. I feel more relief doing a video and sharing it to the world than just going back and forth with a dude or a girl. Y'all subscribe to this channel, man. Cut the case in the Kickback Podcast show. It's your boy Cutty Slim sliding out. Out like a fat kid in dodgeball. Holla at y'all.